Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these classy, bougie, ratchet, savage DIY cup sets. They were so simple to make, and everything I purchased to make these came from the dollar store, besides the vinyl. I can't wait to show you how easy these were to make, so let's get started. All right, guys, so I have to be honest with you. I really don't know what this means. Um, I'm more of a heavy metal girl. <laughs> but um, after seeing a bunch of these on Etsy, I figured I would try to make my own and show you guys how I make them. So, yeah, I'm really not sure what any of this means. <laughs> I know it's a song my girls listen to, um, but I don't know what any of it means. So, uh <laughs> Yeah, just had to clarify that. So I um, looked on uh, Etsy. I'm going to show you really quick. I looked on Etsy for some of these, and I cannot believe how much they are going for. So I figured, what the heck? I'm going to try my own. So I have cups like these. They all came from the dollar store. I'm not really sure why the coffee mug. Maybe if someone could let me know, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, again, it's just kind of funny. So I just was looking at Etsy for these and I'm like, holy cow, this is amazing. Another thing I can try to sell. Guys, if you guys don't know, I'm actually in my second store now selling my crafts. I'm so excited. Yay. So sorry, just had to say that. So I'm just looking for new ideas of things to make. And I just came across these and I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to make them, I'm going to show people how to make them. So I just wanted to show you quickly how, what they look like um, and what they're going for. And it's absolutely crazy. So who knows if they're going to sell or not, but I figured I would show you guys. So I actually started making a whole bunch of um, the files here. And before I forget, I just wanted to show you what a couple of them were called. Like this one, I was trying to find the one with the little heart in it here. So if you look on the side here, it tells you what it is. It's called Love Spells. So if you want to download that, I'm not sure if I got it from Defont or not. Um, if I did, I have to go back and purchase it if I'm going to sell this particular one. Um, because when you download something from Defont, you need to either purchase their license for it or um, just use it for personal use. So I'm going to be selling these, so I need to make sure I go and purchase that file. Um, and then I think this one it was. So I was working on this one here. And this one is, I believe it's called Rainbow, but I'm going to show you quick. So I click on that and I go to the part that's gray over here. I'll right click and then grab image info. Nope. It's called October Twilight. So that's the um, a font of this. I did not like the way the C looked on here. It just looked kind of funny to me. So I actually did, I copied this and then I made, uh, I made a copy of this and that's what this is. The, this font is the October font. Oops. Didn't want to move that. Um, but I changed the C. So this one is actually called Beyond the Mountain. So in case you want to change uh, any of the letters, you can most definitely do that. You can use any of these that you like. Um, I just picked different uh, uh, fonts in Design Space here. So you just kind of go and pick whatever you like. Like this one is the, I don't even know how you say that, Leo MN. Um, and this one is called High Jump. Um, so you just going to go in Design Space and kind of pick out which uh, fonts look really good to you. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to choose this one here. So what I'm going to do for this one, since I um, ungrouped it, I need to weld it together. And I'm doing weld instead of attach because when you cut these out, I'll make it a little bit bigger. When you cut this out in Design Space, it will actually cut little pieces here for when you put them together or overlaid them. So if you don't push the weld button, it will cut those little pieces out everywhere here. So that's why I did the weld instead of attach. So I'm going to be using this one. So I'm going to move this one down here. And I really like this one. So I'm actually going to pull this one down here again. This one's called Love Spell. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and push the weld button on here. Just be whoops. As you see, it did a little thing here. So I'm going to go back and push the back button. The way that I found out how to undo that a little bit, which sounds funny, is I actually make it larger and then I weld it and then I go back and make it smaller. For some reason, I don't know why it does it, but now you see the E is not filled in. So I'm going to put this one down here because I'm going to use these two 
And I'm not really sure which one I liked on this because I'm not really sure what any of this means. So I think I like this one. So I'm just going to pull this one over. And let's see, the Savage one. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one. So I am going to actually change all the colors of these because I don't want to get rid of these, but I also don't want to cut these out. So the easiest way to do it is grab whichever ones you're doing and change the color. So I'm just going to randomly pick this pink color. So when I go to make it, I only want to choose these ones that are this pinkish color. I'm going to shrink my screen one more so I can put all this together. And the last thing I need to do is resize this. Um, I'm not worried about the color being pink because I can always change that when I put the vinyl on my mat. The only thing I want to do is just change the size of this. So I figured for this first one, classy, I'm going to be putting that on a coffee mug. And my coffee mug I, I bought was from the dollar store. So I'm thinking about three by two is going to be good. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here and then change it to be a three by two. And remember, my screen is shrunk a little bit, so it's going to look a little bit small right now. So this bougie one, if I'm saying it right, is going to go in a wine glass. So that's also going to be a 3x2. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up to the unlock box, and I'm going to change it to be 3x2. And your sizes might be different than mine, so always check your sizes. Um, I just took my green mat and kind of held it up to the cups themselves, and I figured out how big it was. So this ratchet one, again, I don't know what any of these mean. <laughs> um, I'm going to put on a little tiny shot glass. So I'm going to change that one to be around a two by one. So again, the same thing, select it, go to the unlock box, and then do it two by one. And then this last one, Savage, I'm going to be putting it on a tall wine glass one. So this one I figured I'd do about a three by three. So the same thing, change it here, three by three. And I'm actually going to pull these over. Oops, I'm going to select them all. Pull. Oh my goodness, guys. Select them all. There we go. And pull it over here. And then I can make my screen larger and see what it's all going to look like. So this is what it's going to look like. And you can kind of like look at it and kind of see is that really how big you want is that what you want it to look like so for some of them I'm going to be doing like sideways like for this ratchet one I'm going to be doing up and down but I don't have to do it in this I can just when I pull it off of the vinyl I can literally do it up and down so I'm not going to worry about it this savage one is going to go on a tall wine glass and it's going to go around I don't do not like the way it looks so I'm actually going to just take it and make it a little bit smaller and it's going to like go around the wine glass. I'm kind of visualizing what it's going to look like. This one looks good to me. That's going to go onto the coffee mug. Oh, no. This one actually goes onto the other wine glass I have, which is smaller. And then this one's going to go on the wine, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, coffee mug. So that's it. So you just want to make sure you have everything welded, which I'm going to double check here. And it looks like everything's perfect the way I want it. So the last thing is is um, just to go to make it. So I'm just going to push make it. And again, like I said, these I'm not even going to worry about. So I'm not going to cut those out. This is the ones, these are the ones that I'm going to be cutting out. So I'm just going to move these over a little bit so I can get my scissors in between here. But as you can see, now because we did the weld button, you can see there's not going to be any little cut lines here. So I'm just gonna cut these out the way that they look. So for mine, I think I have some holographic vinyl left. So I'm gonna cut it out on my holographic vinyl. Um, I'm not gonna mirror this. I'm not gonna do anything to this. It doesn't matter the color on here. They're all gonna cut out the same. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the holographic, but for the next step, you just have to make sure that you're going to be cutting it on to the right setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and push continue. All right, so once your screen pops up, you need to figure out which material you're going to use. As of now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a vinyl or a glitter vinyl or, like I said, the holographic vinyl. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose yet. I think I'm going to go grab them and kind of see what they look like. But just for now, please know that you have to set your base material. So I think I'm actually going to use the holographic one. So you just click on the one that you want and then you make sure you have your blade in and... This is how it's going to cut out and look. So I love how this looks. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to weed it out. And I'm going to show you guys what color I chose to use. But we're almost finished. The last thing you have to do is just clean your cups off and put your vinyl on. And we'll see what it looks like. So stay tuned, guys. And let's finish this up. 
Okay, so I finished up my uh, files here, and I'll show you. I did actually choose this holographic one, and then I also did this rose gold pink color as well. Um, so I did two of them. I have all my cups and everything here that I'm going to be using. Uh, all of them came from the dollar store. I figured, you know, instead of using the coffee mugs, the white coffee mugs, I figured everything glass would look good together, right? I don't know. I've seen some where they do all the glass together. I've seen where they just do the white coffee mugs, but honestly, I think just the glass would look better, but I want to be different. So that's how I'm going to do it. So I have this one here, and then I have this long stem wine glass. And then also have this small little shot glass here. So it's going to be four pieces together. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is clean your cups with alcohol really well. So I just have some little pads here. I'm going to have a bottle of alcohol. Oof, I can't even talk. And I'll put some alcohol on here. And then I'll just clean wherever I'm going to be putting the file. And you can do it on left side, right side, right in the middle, whatever you want. But this alcohol is going to clean all the little finger marks and everything off of here. You want to make it sure it's nice and clean um, so that your file will stick. So I'm just going to do, ooh, if you can see that, it's really dirty. So this is why we clean them. So then I'm just going to do the same on this. Can I get it all around? And then do this one. But just want to make sure you clean them really well. I should have thrown these in the dishwasher before, but that's okay because I'm just going to hand wash them afterwards and make sure they're nice and clean. So I'm just doing the one side. I'm not really worried about the whole thing. And then the last one, just this long stem wine glass. And you can use whatever you choose. Uh, like I said, the ones on Etsy, they had all sorts of different ones. They even have boxes that said, I think, Ratchet on it. Um, again, I don't really know what that means. Kind of had to ask my daughter what that song meant, and she was talking about being rich and classy and all that stuff, so that's not me. Like I said, I'm more of a heavy metal girl, <laughs> um, so I don't really understand that song very much. So the next thing you want to do is take your transfer tape. I have some leftover Cricut transfer tape. I actually don't remember ever using this. I think it came with one of my um, vinyl pieces that I bought off of Amazon. So I'm just going to take a piece and I kind of like this because it has the lines on it and then you can see what you're doing. So instead of my dollar store ones, this is the only thing I'm not using that's dollar store. So I'm just going to take it, find one of the bigger ones. I'm going to use classy one first, peel off the back here, which is wow, much easier than <laughs> the vinyl I'm used to or the transfer tape. So I'm going to move my stuff out of the way, push this up so you guys can see it. And then I'm just going to line it up, trying to get the lines to be nice and neat so when I put it on my cup, it'll be nice and neat. Have that down, take my little scraper, oops, scrape it really well. And then I always like to work backwards so I can see my design if it's coming up or not. So here I'm just pulling it off backwards, oops, beautiful. And I forget which one this one went to. I think this one was going on the coffee mug. So we're gonna put it on this one. This had time to dry, so now it's all done. Now I'm just figuring out, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do it on this side. I was trying to think, I like doing them on the right, right hand side because I'm right handed. And I think a lot of people are. I know my daughter Emma is not, she's actually left handed. <laughs> But I'm just matching the top part up here. I really like this with the lines. And I'm just matching the top part. And before I done this, let's see if it won't let me pull it all the way up. I should have put little slits in here. I did not do that. So to make things easier, you just want to take your scissors and do little slits in here because it just makes it easier for it to go around your design or your mug. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut little slits in between these pieces and it just gives me a little bit of leverage that I can move it around a little bit easier. Sorry, I should have shown you that first, but like I always say, I'm always honest with you guys, I made a mistake, so glad I was able to show you. So now it's cut, so it's going to be easier to lay down. So again, I'm just taking the top and I'm lining up the top part. And here is where the uh, cuts really come in handy because now I can be able to put it down easily and it will go perfectly flat. Perfect. So I'm just taking my thumbs and pushing really hard. You can try to get it on here. 
and I can feel right here that there is a um, piece coming up. So once I peel the transfer tape away, I should be able to fix that. But now it's going to come in pieces because we cut pieces into it, but that's okay because it works easier. This transfer tape is nice, but it really does come apart too easy. I'm not used to that. So I'm just pulling the transfer tape away. Wow, yeah, I do not like that transfer tape at all. It was nice with the lines, but it's just coming apart way too easily. I'm not used to that. Even the spots I didn't cut it, it's still coming up. So this is why I don't like the Cricut brands, because it's not as nice as my dollar store stuff, I'll tell you what. Okay, so it's perfect on here, but I do see a bubble right here. I don't know if that shows up, but there is definitely a bubble there. So I'm going to try to carefully peel this up. This is permanent, so it's a 651, but because I just laid it down, it's not going to be as sticky. You have to like let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. So I'm just carefully peeling this up. And then I'll just gently use my finger and glide it back down. I hate it when things have bubbles in it. It's like a pet peeve of mine. It drives me nuts. Not only does it not look nice, but it drives me nuts. So here's the first one, classy. And, hmm, kind of like how it is. How do you guys like that? I like the holographic. I think that looks neat. So when you drink, you know, you'll, other people will see it on the outside. So, and here I tried taking off the bottom of the sticker, but it didn't work too well. So three ways. So my friend Candace just told me that WD-40 works for this. I have not tried that, but she said it works really well. So thank you for the tip. Otherwise, Gooby Gone works or just old fashioned soap and water. So I'm gonna need to finish getting that one off, but I just wanted to show you guys what this would look like. So there is that one. I think that's pretty neat. And then I'm gonna get rid of this transfer tape here. Clean up my section. And then the next one would be this, I'm gonna do this ratchet one here. This is a smaller one. It's just gonna go onto my little shot glass here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just cut off a piece of this transfer tape, which I did like, but I'm not really liking it now. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like, oh my goodness, do you guys like Cricut transfer tape or do you like just regular dollar store stuff? I like the transfer, this stuff because it comes off really simple and it also has the lines, but I'm not liking how it comes apart like that. So I'm just putting it down. I'm gonna take my squeegee and just rub it and make sure it attaches to the transfer tape. Flip it over. Like I said, I like to do things upside down then I can see if it comes off, which it doesn't. That looks really cool. And then I'm gonna take it and you've gotta figure if you wanna do it this way or if you wanna do it this way. I don't know, I kinda like it this way. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm not gonna cut into it because it's a smaller piece. I'm just kind of measuring it from the bottom and making sure that I'm going straight. So once you get it on, just use your fingers and press down like that. There we go. You want to push really hard and make sure it sticks on there. Again, this is 651, so it's permanent. It's not going to come off. I would not recommend putting this in the dishwasher, though. I know that sometimes you can. I've actually accidentally put a few of my um, pieces in the dishwasher, and they lasted, but I wouldn't recommend it. So here is this one. I'm really liking this holographic vinyl. I'm going to have to buy some more. So that's that one. So that one's finished. And then I just had these two more. So I'm actually going to fast forward this. I don't want to bore you guys with this, but this is just how you do it. So I'm going to cut ahead and finish these two, and then I'll show you what they look like. And then I'll do a few of these other ones with the rose gold on it, and I'll just finish up and show you what they look like. But which one do you like better? Do you guys like this holographic? Do you like this rose gold? I'm kind of going towards this one. Again, I don't really know what this means, but I'm going to try to sell it. So stay tuned and see what it looks like when I'm all finished. I love how these turn out and I cannot believe how easy they were to create. I hope you try to create your own version and maybe even try to sell them or maybe give them away as funny gifts. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon as it will notify you when I have another fun craft tutorial. Have fun and happy crafting everyone!